So let's see how much geometry you know. Now the question is, we want to find angle X. So angle X is this uh, angle right here. So this is X degrees. What is the actual value or how many degrees is angle X? That is the question. And of course we have this figure and multiple angles. So let's kind of go through each angle one by one. So this angle right here is 80 degrees. This angle right here is 60 degrees. This angle right here is 50 degrees. And this angle right here is 86 degrees. All right, so that's the, all the information you need in order to find angle X. Now, if you could figure this out, well, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And then, of course, we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so I'm not going to give you too much of uh, too many hints here, but I just wanted to make sure you understood, you know, the angles in this particular figure. Again, we were trying to figure out what angle X is equal to. Okay, so here is our figure. And again, we have these various angles. We're looking for angle X. This is angle X, but we have these other angles. So this is 80, and this is 60, this is 50, and this is 86. But what we need here to solve for angle X is we got to figure out the sum of these angles here, okay, the interior angles of this uh, shape. Now, uh, you know, this thing, as a matter of fact, let me erase this stuff so you can kind of see this better. Don't get confused by what the figure, you know, has. You have these rays kind of going off here, but really what you want to focus in is on this, all right? What is this right here? Well, this is a polygon, okay? Now, geometry, polygons are a huge topic, and polygons are, well, there's different types. There's concave or convex, but I'm going to just kind of give you a real simple or simplified definition. Uh, polygons are shapes that we can construct with like line segments. And the first polygon that you can create is a triangle. Okay, so if I give you a couple line segments like this and this, we're like, hey, let's put together a closed figure. Okay, so we're like, well, that's not a closed figure. But if we throw, put another line segment in there, well, we have a polygon that is a triangle. This is a three-sided polygon uh, or a triangle. Now, in geometry, you study, uh, as a matter of fact, a big topic in geometry is studying four-sided polygons. As a matter of fact, let me just kind of back up here, triangles and four-sided polygons are a big, big topic in geometry. So uh, what is this called? Okay, well, this starts with a Q. This is called a quadrilateral. And there's different types of quadrilaterals. There's squares, there's uh, rectangles, there's trapezoids, there's rhombuses, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so hopefully you're kind of with me here. So we're focusing in on this. Now, a triangle, what is the sum of the angles, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle? Now, hopefully you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know the answer. It's 180 degrees. Well, that is absolutely correct. So what we're looking to do here is figure out the sum of the angles of this polygon. Okay, now how many sides did this have? One, two, three, four, five. So this is a pentagon. Now, if you had like a rectangle, what is the sum of the interior angles of a uh, rectangle or a quadrilateral? It's 360 degrees, right? So if we add up this angle, this angle, this angle, and this angle, we would get 360 degrees. So the secret, okay, to figuring out what X is right here is we got to get... Um, uh, the sum of the interior angles. We need that number, okay? So we know for a triangle, it's 180. For a quadrilateral, it's 360. What is it for a pentagon? Well, or a five-sided polygon? Well, this is easy to answer because we have a lovely formula right here. Okay, so the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is equal to uh, parentheses n minus two, uh, n parentheses times 180 degrees, where n is the number of sides in the polygon. So let's just test this out with a triangle. So a triangle has what? Well, it has three sides. Well, if I put a three right here for N, I got three minus two is what? One, and one times 180. Well, I believe that is 180 degrees, so this works out. 
Okay, so this is basically a huge clue on how to solve this problem. Okay, now, of course, uh, there is another aspect to this. I'm not going to get into this just right now, but I wanted to give uh, those of you out there like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I forgot that formula. Uh, could you give me that formula and I can figure this out? Well, here is the formula, so have at it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the solution now, now that we have this formula and we kind of have a general strategy. And, uh, well, we don't have a general strategy. Well, let me give you the general strategy right now. All right, so the first thing is we got to determine the sum of the angles of this uh, pentagon, right? So we're going to do that in just one second. And once we have that, we can find this angle right here. And once we have this angle, then it's going to be easy to find that angle. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into this. And the first thing we need to do is to determine, again, uh, the interior angle, okay, all these angles right here. Well, we can't really do this yet, okay? Well, we can't solve for x until we uh, first get what is the sum total of a pentagon. Now, if you happen to remember that, just like what the triangle is 180 degrees, well, that's fine, but let's go ahead and get that number, okay? Because we're, we're gonna need that before we do anything else. So we're gonna go to our formula. So n is equal to five, uh, i.e. a polygon with five sides. So we're gonna plug in this n or replace that n with five. So five minus two is three. Three times 180 is 540 degrees. All right, so the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is uh, 540 degrees. Now that's a very important fact, and this is really going to kind of um, uh, allow us to now solve this problem. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the next steps, but I'm going to kind of give you a hint here, uh, just in case you wanna do this you know, on your own. So what we need to do is figure out these interior angles right here, like this angle right here. We gotta get this angle, and then of course we gotta get this angle and this angle and this angle, okay? So let's just focus in on how can we get this angle right here. So don't let this uh, figure confuse you. What we need to do is look at this, right? So a line, okay, actually has an angle measure to it, right? So you have like, well, maybe this is like 30 degrees, this is like 90 degrees, this might be like 100, and, uh, I don't know, 40 degrees. Well, as you continue to open up this angle, we end up with a, a perfect uh, straight line. A line is 180 degrees. So from here to here, this is 180 degrees. So if this angle is 60 degrees, well, we can get this angle right here by just taking 180 minus 60. Of course, that's 120 degrees, okay? So this is how we're gonna get these interior angles of this pentagon right here. So this is 120 degrees, which is 180 minus 60. All right, now you can do this for all these angles. Again, this is 50 right here. Uh, this particular angle is 86, so you can get that angle. So we'll have this angle, this angle, uh, this angle, and this angle, okay? And then that's gonna allow us to solve for this angle, and then we can get this angle. <laughs> that's a lot of angles, but uh, this is pretty typical of a lot of common type of geometry problems. All right, so let's go ahead and do the work right now. And I just wanted to kind of lay out this strategy for you. All right, so here it is. So I actually did all the calculations. You can kind of double check me, but this is correct. So 180 minus 60 is 120, all right? So this is our angle right here. And then this angle is going to be, we gotta be very careful with our figure, okay? From here to here is this angle that we're looking for, this angle right there. So this is going to be uh, 180 minus 50 degrees, okay, which of course is 130. And then to get this angle, it's gonna be 86 minus the 180 or 180 minus 186, that's 94 or 180 minus 86, excuse me, 94. So we have our angles, okay, this is 94 degrees. This angle right here is 130. This angle is 120. This angle is 80 degrees. Well, I have four of the five angles in this pentagon, so I can solve for this angle right here. We'll call it angle Y, not to confuse it with angle X. So how can I solve for this? Well, I know the sum total, the interior angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees, so we can just write out a basic equation like this. So 80 plus 120 plus 130 plus 94 plus this mystery angle Y is equal to 540 degrees. Again, the sum of the interior angles of a five-sided polygon, i.e. a pentagon, is equal to 540. Okay, so uh, let's see if you can go ahead and solve this basic equation for y, 
and let's go and take that next step. But before we do, let's have you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, don't you like the way I kind of sneak that in? Well, I'm sneaking it in because I need your help, okay? And I'm not shy to ask for it. Now, if you need math help, uh, you know, you got to ask for help. I mean, that's the way you improve. If you're struggling and you're like, okay, just I just can't get it. You know, we all know where we can't figure out, you know, we get you know, stuck on something, right? So if you are a student, go to your teacher, okay? Or find someone that, you know, maybe a study partner that can help you out, but get help, right? Don't just struggle, right? To figure out what's, you know, the issue and then move forward. Now, I'm asking for your help because I'm trying to reach as many people as I possibly can and help them with mathematics. And the way that can happen for me is by getting more people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is a little simple act, but it really goes a long way for YouTube. So if you don't mind, hit that little uh, subscribe button and then that notification bell so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's go and finish up this problem. This is pretty straightforward stuff now. So here is our angles. So we're going to add all these up. 80 plus 120 plus 130 plus 94 is 424. So 424 plus y is equal to 540. So here we can just subtract both sides of the equation. Just basic algebra, right? Uh, both sides of the equation by 424. By the way, uh, if you are noticing, okay, clearly we are doing algebra in a geometry problem. This is why geometry comes after algebra. So if you want to really learn this stuff, or if you want to learn geometry, you got to make sure you have strong algebra skills. Okay. Oftentimes students struggle in geometry because their algebra skills are weak. Okay. So let's go ahead and finish this up. So uh, we're going to get y is equal to 540 minus 424. So y is equal to 116. All right, so the only angle now that we're interested in, uh, in uh, to solve for x or figure out what angle um, x is equal to, so this angle here is 116. We don't need to really focus on the other angles. So 116, well, this whole line right here is 180. So if we take 180 minus 116, we end up with 64 degrees, and that's what x is equal to. Now, if you need additional help in geometry, check out these courses right here. So in my pre-algebra course, I have a couple of chapters on basic geometry, but uh, if you have to understand all things geometry to include uh, proofs, then you got to check out my full geometry course. Now, if you want a good math review of basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my math skills rebuilder course. All right, so I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.